people often get surprised when i tell them that olympic weightlifters used to be perfectly normal human beings of course that is before they got bit by the iron bug and fell victim to the world's fourth most dangerous disease in the world and as we all know the first three being powerlifting strongman and bodybuilding the illness has a 99% mortality rate and no cure in sight as the great scientist mr howard stark put it we are indeed limited by the technology of our time for more information i should tell you in clinical settings we see patients displaying certain symptoms physical ones being swelling of legs that we are right now calling meknes quadrus which is paired with unusually small chest musculature more interestingly they are only able to speak primitive language for example unable to pronounce olympic weightlifting but instead calling it oli lifting and thereby indicating heavy brain damage before becoming a full fledged weightlifter one has to undergo three distinct phases let's start with phase 1 On a usual YouTube bench, at the mercy of YouTube recommendation system, which is, by the way, pathologically designed to maximize your stay on the platform, it throws a video towards you. There is an Irish guy squatting 300 kgs, or maybe clock off doing clock off things, or maybe some Chinese lifter throwing your deadlift over his head for multiple repetitions, or maybe some other athlete. And bam, that is all it takes. The sport has taken you in. You are now trapped. The athlete in their performance, it leaves you awestruck. because it is a personification of humanity's pinnacle of potential the athlete's performance has the aesthetics of a fantasy come alive or in simple words it kind of looks cool the flames of passion take hold of you and there is a seldom found clarity of thoughts i am going to start practicing weightlifting as weak as i am as inadequate as i am i will still dare to make something out of nothing that i currently am your soul overflows with admiration but what is admiration if simply not a precursor to imitation now you are a weightlifting novice hours of weightlifting content binged and countless tutorials so you start doing deep squats practicing the clean and the snatch you probably don't even have a coach you don't even train in a weightlifting gym it's a commercial gym you try to move like the athletes you like but are not able to how does clarence move so fast why do russian weightlifters slam their feet but chinese don't hip contact versus thigh contact what is the difference and the worst of them all should i start doing squat jerks you start searching the answers and you discover people like zack talender max aita catalyst athletics the sika boys and lots of other sources surely you are an idiot but an idiot with plans your aim is to snatch 140 clean 180 squat 200 and get married to elizabeth winstead by the end of the next friday unfortunately the universe has conspired against you you have not so good genetics with a personality that is worse than the average reddit user you thought you were a gohan but you are not even a yamcha after training for a few months You hit your balls a bit and can snatch a decent weight of 42 kgs. Here is the phase you are pretty high on Dunning Kruger. You feel like you know it all. You actually use words like phase potentiation or strategic sequencing. Do you understand them? Probably not. This is the best phase of your training because you get to learn new things every day. Changing your hand width gives you better balance in the snatch or pushing your knees forward in the squat or maybe some exotic thing like Bulgarian system or Russian squat system. My friend, even though you feel smart and invincible, The barbell is about to humble you. The world hangs on a thin thread. Yeah. And that is the psyche of man. By this time you have probably hit plateaus. Your training progression also has slowed down. It has become multiple months of grinding just to put few kgs on the bar. Previously you used to think I am a weightlifter. I love weightlifting. But now there is some doubt in that. you question yourself do i even derive some joy out of it if not why am i even doing this maybe you are burned out it's time to take a break or try something else maybe 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 i wish i had something to say to push you back into training to bring back your enjoyment to give you back your identity as a weightlifter if i had things would be so easy but still some of you survive some of you do continue and finally come to accept that maxing out per session was not a viable option also you don't know much of anything at all bare minimum programming knowledge which you have to rethink upon every now and then 
but there is indeed a silver lining in this by sacrificing the self image of invincibility you had you were able to come face to face with your actual self you are not clarence kennedy luz ofjun or clockoff you come to accept this fact but are you all right with as you currently are absolutely not there are bars to be slammed weights to be lifted i think snatching is fun regardless of some arbitrary goal i have if you are searching for words of motivation from this video you have to ask yourself are you even your own individual